Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play LSD. I'm your host, CPC Gamer, and in the last episode, I spent more than half the video not actually playing the game and just watching videos instead. So basically, I was doing your job. And in turn, you need to do my job. So buy yourself a copy of LSD and a Dazzle and get cracking. Did kind of get me thinking though. I wonder how much the game disc is used versus how much is left blank. I mean, I don't know how big PSX CDs were, probably about 600 megabytes, and I refuse to believe they filled this disc with the really sort of, you know, low poly count models they put in here, you know? Ooh, I'm going to show this off, by the way. Couldn't do it before. On the right-hand side of the screen is the kanji for Karosu, which means kill, murder, butcher, and so on. On the left is the katakana for, surprisingly, Karosu, which, when it's written like that, it means I am, you are, they are, killing. Things like that. And it's delightful, and of course why I come to Happy Town. Of course it is. Although it's that really freaky version of Happy Town. It looks like it's being burnt to the ground. So... I suppose the evil, murderous TV kind of worked out like that. Okay, I think I'm going to follow the train tracks. See if I can go down the tunnel like I did last time, except this time I'm going to see if I can do it without getting run over by a train. Which, to be fair, the game did warn me about with the cowbells, I just chose to ignore it. Anyways, no, I can't imagine they filled up the entirety of the game disc with content because there is a lot of reused resources. And also because I flipped through the game disc and there doesn't seem to be all that much that's actually on there. Alright, you coming? I guess not. Let's go! Oh hey, there's my favourite music. This is awesome. Although... Yeah, I wonder why this game likes to spawn me in tunnels as of late. It doesn't usually. This was the National Park, right? Yeah, I'm pretty... Yeah, that's the National Park. Anyways, no. I flipped through the game's files, and there is not much on there, but the stuff that is there, I found a bunch of stuff that doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, the folder that has the data for the Bright Moon Cottage, it's got all the texture packs for the lions, and what on earth is that? It's Grey Man's fabulous cousin. <laughs> or... Gay Pride Buddha, something like that. Let's get a better look, shall we? Okay, yes, Gay Pride Buddha is precisely what that thing is. Never seen that before. Okay, where was I? Hmm. This is usually the part where I say what room I'm recording in and we all have a god chuckle, but I think I did that last episode. Let's just pretend I did that this episode and that it was hilarious. Bright Moon Cottage has all the texture packs for the lions, even though the lions are only found in the natural world. And it's not a misplaced texture pack, because the lion textures also exist in the natural world folder. I don't know what that is, by the way. It's either a spell tag or one of those paper knot things, the name of which temporarily escapes me. And do you know what? I am going to go and see what happens when Buddha reaches the edge of the map, because I don't think I've ever done that. Like, I always link with something before I do that. So, let's just leave his gigantic dismembered hand alone. Very careful not to link on anything. And let's uh, go see what's up. Right. Hey guys. What do you do when you reach the edge of the map? Absolutely nothing. Brilliant. But they do continue to make footstep noises. I wonder if they're still moving. If they're going to wander off into the rest of the game code and severely break it. They did that in Jet Set Willy on the CPC, as an aside. There was an arrow that shot off screen, which 
was coded in such a way that it overwrote part of the code that made the game crash. And the programmers got around it by saying that room was full of poison gas, so you should never go there. Also, I'm trying this again. Apparently, there's a, a way of making a weather effect happen or starting a cutscene. You make the bell start ringing, stand by the entrance to Kyoto, stare at the bell. I tried it, nothing happened. Clearly. <laughs> I've... I don't know. Maybe it means this is the entrance to Kyoto. The website I found was not explicitly clear as to what was going on, so I have absolutely no idea what's going on, as you may have gathered. Maybe I have to stare at the bell itself to make something happen. I don't know. It's kind of a shame, because... I mean... I like to think that I'm showing off as much as I can in this playthrough, and if I can't spawn something that I pretty much know to be there, it's gonna really, really bug me, you know? Yeah, okay. We'll... We'll give it a shot, we'll do that next time. Hi? Did I- Oh! Crackles. This is the opposite of being an ultra-happy Kyoto. I miss Gay Pride Buddha already. If I say Gay Pride Buddha enough, will that become a thing? That's how jokes work, right? You just say and do one thing until people start laughing at it. Or you wrap it around pictures of a penguin or something. I don't know. You'd lamppost got anything for me? Nah, I guess you don't. Oh, but while I am here, something that I learned. Whenever the game omits background music like it's doing now, it's still playing music, but it, there's just several empty MIDI files on the disc that are just three seconds of silence. And I know MIDI files aren't all that big, but that seems like an inefficient use of space to me, you know? Couldn't you just tell the game to not play music? I don't know, because I am not a PSX developer. I have to say, they do something very similar with the Grey Room. Um, the infinite black void is actually just black tiles sitting on a black background so you can't ever see them. Like, what's the point? Said the man who is making videos of obscure 90s PlayStation games for the internet that like 12 people will see. I'm gonna go to the warehouse. There is something else I've been told about this game. The, the Pyramid Head Ghost thing I found a few videos back, it's possible to have it play a cutscene if you bow to it. But that depends on the random number generator liking you, and spawning the thing, and then spawning the cutscene conditions, and... You know, liking you enough to spawn everything that you need in order. I think I just said that. Curse this heat! I have to say, though, the random number gods do seem to like me today. I tripped up enough in the last episode to win the bingo lottery and let it make half my content for me. Although with that said, the game missed the file. Like, the inverted walk through town is asset 618, and then the spool of tape is 620. It's meant to show the pigeons one, but for some reason it didn't. Also, it didn't spawn the ghost. Go figure. The crime scene at Spawn didn't do anything, it's not going to make me link. I'm going to go and do something else. See if we can find that sailor, do something with him. Insert Shenmue joke here. Now, apparently there are like, there's three outcomes with the sailor. You'll either see a plane crash into the dock, the plane fly overhead, or absolutely nothing. Place your bets now! Although I hear a plane, so that's one outcome. Oh, and I see a plane too. Hi. <laughs> you gonna do, do anything there, buddy? What if I chase you? Yeah? No? I guess not. Man, now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna see if I can see some new stuff. 
Speaking of uh, having somebody else make your own content. Come to think of it, have I been this way before? I don't think I have. What is this, episode 27? And I've never walked slightly to the left before? <laughs> down here. Anything? Nothing? Oh, hey, it's that boat! That's like... It's like that one of the video from the Violence District. That I didn't know was the Violence District because it video doesn't identify it as such. I just... assumed that is what it was. I wonder if that boat's what that horn thing is. Well, there's also a series of pipes over here. Like from the same video I was talking about just now. The phallic shape probably doesn't mean anything. It's meant to be a key, I bet. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go and tease these lamps some more. I love that I can say that in this game, and it will still make absolute sense. Hmm. You got anything for me? Yes? No? I guess you don't. Let's try a different tactic. Let's see what happens if I look at you from another angle. Wait. No. Forget that. What's that horn sound? I remember I saw like a spaceship out here on day one or whatever, but... No? Nothing? Okay, back to the lamps. Master of Lamps for the C64. That song had a badass theme tune, and nobody can deny. Okay, where are we? You got anything for me there, Lamp? Aside from a temptation to do an Anchorman joke? Oh, you do? You have a link somewhere. To the machine room. How... About that, and a rude awakening. The best kinds of things. Alrighty, tune in next time for yet more of this trash. And until next time, goodbye.